Professor Himaru Igumbo said the task force will undertake supportive supervision of the state response to COVID-19, particularly on how to improve the testing rate across the state. He commended the state governor, Gordon Obaseki, for the provision of laboratory facilities and precautionary measures put in place to curb the spread of the virus, especially the decentralized testing strategy that the state has adopted. We are very grateful to see and the command that His Excellency has around the response and all that he's doing to support uh, activities of the public health response. We just want to give reinforcement to that and communicate this uh, even onwards to our colleagues in federal and in other states uh, to take leave from such a um, uh, good feat that was seen in Edo State. In a related development, the Permanent Secretary, Edo State Ministry of Health, Dr. Osamwa Irowa, has attributed the high rate of COVID-19 infections in the state to community spread. Dr. Irowa, who lamented the high rate of the infection in the state, attributed it to community spread and not imported cases in the state. He said the disease has been put at 90%, adding that it is a great challenge to the state, noting that the only way to curb the virus is the observation of all the NCDC protocol. The last weekend, one of the persons we lost was a head worker, which is actually quite painful because for the first time we were losing somebody who was a head worker from a dose state for, to COVID-19. In all, we have had 15 local government areas uh, involved in this uh, COVID-19 this, during the second wave. Most of the local government areas have reported cases as we speak. Our surveillance contact that we are following up, uh, we have about uh, 789 persons being followed up on contact, uh, their contact tracing from the, across the 18 local government areas of the state. Dr. Irowa stated that the state has 500 active cases. Patients, Osaugiwa reporting.